Hi everybody, my name is Kelly Rossetti. I'm an abstract and figurative painter. Welcome to my studio here at The Nest. Uh, this year we're doing our uh, open studios virtually for the art trail, so I wanted to give you a tour. Come on in. So I'm new to The Nest. I've been here for about, let's see, probably about eight months. And I've really only been in the studio working for the last three or four months because at the beginning of the pandemic I was working for my home studio. But I have gotten it nice and messy now at this point so it's, it's really functioning well for me so far. Um, just tell you guys a little bit about me. Um, I've been painting for about seven years. I work primarily non-representational abstract and then I do a bit of figurative work also. So right now I have I don't know, I got about three bodies of work going right now, so I'd like to show you those. I can just tell you a little bit about them. So this first group over here, let me just pull through. Um, this is really more atmospheric. Um, my work is, I take a very much of a layered approach in my work, so uh, usually always begins with play, regardless if it's figurative or non-representational. I like to put some color down, lots of very loose marks, and then I just kind of see where it evolves. So, you know, my work is very intuitive. You know, one mark leads to another mark, and so you really never know where a painting is gonna go, and I, I really like that. You know, every single painting is, you know, a new challenge to a, a new problem that you have to solve. Um, so you can see these guys are a little bit more, um, you know, atmospheric in a way. There's less like defined shapes. And um, so we'll just, you know, these are still works in progress. And then over here, this was a group that I did at the beginning of the pandemic. Um, this is panels and they're very, very layered. So lots of color, lots of marks. Um, Taking off is just as important as putting on, so I like to really scrape back and uh, hopefully get a little bit of credit for something that came underneath. So I really like that in my work, it's really important to me. Um, gives you a little bit of a history in the painting and also, you know, when you walk up to the work, you always see something that you didn't see the first time you looked. Hopefully, you, you know, hopefully that happens repeatedly as you keep looking at it. Um, so the second group of that uh, body of work that I have going on right now is very, very bright, lots of fluorescence. Um, if you can see, it's again, very, very layered, lots of marks. Um, here I'm just working a little bit more with uh, defined shapes and um, seeing where this body of work goes. Um, I guess I've really been drawn to bright colors. Obviously my wardrobe likes to reflect my work. Um, but I'm kind of over like the boring grays and yes, I love blues, I will always love blues, but I'm seeking a bit of color in my life and so it's, it's coming out in my work and um, I couldn't be happier. It makes me happy and it really sparks joy. Um, okay, so I'll show you my figurative work next. So this is my latest body of figurative work that I've been working on. Sort of took a little bit of a step away from uh, the figure for the past year, but um, it truly is one of my uh, biggest loves. Uh, I started taking a uh, figure drawing class at an atelier in the city many years ago. Couldn't draw anything. My sketches were awful, but um, I loved it. I loved it so much, and so I just sort of kept at it, and um, now I hire models, and I regularly practice life drawing, so it's it's a big passion of mine for sure. Um, but uh, So this work, I really wanted to do something different than I had done in the past, and it's really um, definitely much looser than what I've done. I love, um, you know, keeping some of the lines from the figures that I was sketching and just so you have like a little bit of a history which is really nice and just um, elements that feel a little more real and obviously some that are just really super sketchy. So these are all oil on like a canvas paper and the canvas paper has a little texture, um, it's a little bit of a tooth to it so it's, it's really nice. Um, but for me there's just something really nice about working on paper. I guess like besides the fact that you feel looser, it just, I don't know, 
there's, it starts with a sense of play, and I just don't feel so tight in the beginning as versus canvas. I don't know, it's a hard thing to explain. But um, yeah, so I'm really loving these. They're very soft, full of color, uh, and very feminine, and I, and I really love that. So um, yeah, so I have a few more that are still in work, but this is what I have so far, and that's about it. Thank you so much for joining me on this studio tour. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of my work and hearing more about my process. Um, please check out my website if you want to see more. It's kellyrosetti.com. I will be live in the chat later when this all goes live, so you can uh, feel free to reach out if you have any questions. And we are scheduling mass uh, studio visits, so if you want to schedule an actual visit, please feel to reach out. Um, would love to see you. Thanks again.